then you know, like we saw Sugar Rocky riding off on the normals, and like um, then we cut over to Tartarus Prison. Tartarus Prison was where we saw Alpha One in his chair, like just like how oh, Eisner is in his chair, Alpha One is in his chair. Every great villain has a chair to be sealed with. Eisen, yeah, all for one. So many other villains, many other villains, right? But anyhow, um, we saw all for one there and he was like, it was like he was happy that everything happened and it's like it, it, his body is free now, not really his physical body, but I think it's gonna be a prison break, right? Because they like, uh, who could really stop Shigaraki from breaking in and taking out his master from there and taking out of that school? From all the villains that might be sealed in there. But I really don't know how the heroes are gonna really win this war. At least we've got that mirror as well too. So you know he's quite useful. And we still have a, and I'm kinda of excited to see how they include like all the prisoners. Cause I'm interested because you remember that muscular and overall is still there. So I'm I'm wondering how they're gonna involve like past Villains. I mean, interesting to see what, especially what they do with Stain. And if we think about it, we do know that Kirogiri is still there, so they also have a great escape if they especially use him and his quirk in that in that arc. Yeah, that's true. If they get all of those other villains involved, especially Kirogiri, it's gonna be very um. It's gonna be terrible, you know, and Kurgiri is one of Aizawa's previous best friends from high school, but he wasn't called Kurgiri at that time. He's just like Kurgiri is just a normal form of um, Aizawa's childhood friend. But I mean like he was the one who led them to the villains, like his con his consciousness, right? And we see that, that the doctor is actually gonna be locked away in Tardos prison as well. Uh, I mean like maybe they'll even go to Tardos prison to try and free him to my head. I don't know what they're gonna hold him to my head, but they're gonna have to hold him, but Shigaraki won't be giving him any order, so he won't be as strong or anything like that, you yeah. So I think that, yeah, a lot of dead heroes. Um, we haven't seen we I even thought, I, I thought Mr. Compressor was going to die, but the man is him up and he's like smiling and going being carried off to the hospital, really. He's still alive, you know. He's still alive, still there, still kicking. They're just, I um, mean, there are so many, so too many villains. I don't know how the heroes are gonna win. I really don't know how the heroes are really expecting to win this one, you know? But I mean, like, if they should actually have a prison break, though, I would really want to see what they do with Stain, most of all. Like, Stain would be against the villains, so I think that maybe we could see a fight with Stain and some of the villains. Right, and I think it would be great to actually see Stain again, because Unlike the manga, in the anime, they didn't show much of Stain after after the scene with him and Deku. They, so, so I'm, I bet many anime watchers might have been wondering if Stain did survive, since they especially didn't so, show Stain in the prison. But I'm sure once they do involve Stain, it's going to be a great scene. And I wonder if Stain... He's gonna either choose to either try to actually attack or fight the current villains there, or would focus on escape at that moment. No insane. I feel he would more likely at least take a few villains out before anything else. Well, yeah, I think so. I think he'd actually try and take out a few villains as well, and then probably he would really. Who knows, maybe he would escape to find another day and wouldn't really focus on like heroes that he think aren't. He would know, he, I think he would try and help out All Might in some way, somehow, because maybe like he thinks that All Might is the only one worthy enough to kill him. And I don't think he left Deku alive, so I think that he, he could have killed Deku, but I think he left him alive, yes? He thought Deku was really a good guy. But the others he doesn't see that way and he sees and he wanted to actually fight the villains as well too So I think that he's gonna fight them in prison and escape as well and then fight uh, The villains outside as well outside the prison. I think you would to the Mirio a good a good hero too But he wouldn't really get the chance to really cut Mirio and get out to paralyze him. Maybe well, maybe maybe 
if you can't mirror up right but I, I don't think I can saw mirror that much yet but who knows yeah who knows there's a lot of great opportunities for the war arc scene to be great and once one thing I would like to mention it's kind of a side note but I just no I just remembered do do you remember Seiji, you remember the second year student at Chiketsu High School at the meet guy? You, you know his dad actually works at the prison. So we also might look for some we might be able to see some future scenes involving him, especially if it involves his dad working at the prison, whether his father gets injured and we we might see Seiji and a part of, I wouldn't say vengeance, but more of a yeah. part of trying to save his dad, especially since he might be there working at that time. It might be a great scene, a great few scenes. Yeah, I think it would be really great as well, you know? Yeah, so that's what we think about the war arc scene. Um, I think that Alpha One is gonna actually escape as well too. Like, um, who knows? They don't really like Alpha One can still fight. Yeah, I wonder. Eri just use her powers on well. Spoiler alert! Eri just use her powers on Mario to remind him how he has got his powers. She's gonna have to wait probably another six months, maybe, and maybe he she can shorten the time. Maybe she can store up energy quicker. I'm not sure, but I mean, like, um, Aizawa needs healing. His foot needs to come back. There's um endeavors long needs to come back. There are just so many other heroes who have it. Would have been well, I mean like it's good that Aries power has limits. You cannot just bring back anyone because you gotta just bring back Nightmare from the dead, bring back so many other people from the dead. She only works on living things. So I guess that's good in a sense that it's not overpowered and we don't see how the heroes are gonna win this war. So when she's actually um using her powers on someone who's left alive, she can rewind them to a state that they were before. Maybe she'll rewind all my next to his prime state. Then when he's rewound to his prime state, maybe we would see all my be able to fight. You know, maybe all my would be able to fight. Like he doesn't mean I he doesn't have the he doesn't have one for all anymore. Who knows, maybe Deku could pass it back to him and then he would be able to help and fight while Deku uses the embers of Alpha One and maybe the other quirks that are inside Alpha One, you know? Who knows, maybe he wouldn't be able to use those quirks if he loses it, but maybe All Might could be ruined and he would have another quirk that we didn't want. Who knows, like, maybe there's another quirk that he, that, that he, that he had that we really didn't know about. Maybe All Might could fight. I'm just, I'm just eating to see Prime All Might again. Man. He would be someone who was very who's very helpful and I don't see how they're really gonna kill All Might if they don't really give him back powers to really fight like that. Are they gonna just gonna catch him for him? He can't fight and then just brutally kill him just like that. Uh, I don't think so, but I, I, All Might is definitely gonna die. I'm just gonna push Deku over the hill edge. We don't know how All Might is gonna die really. That's what we really need to find out now. Right. You bring, you bring up a great topic because um, I was thinking Eric definitely has the potential to bring back All Might but if we, we know that's pretty limited maybe it would bring back All Might to when he still had Embers to actually fight but I'm sure at that point he might not be at his full potential but you, you know, I know you mentioned Stain a few minutes ago what we know with both notes stain has decided that he's gonna be the one to fight all might and he won't and he won't be defeated and unless it's by all might i think knowing that stain and all he admires all might i think this present like uh, a lot of opportunities because for one i i can see stain actually defending all might especially if in in the prison break if all i'm sure if they are gonna free all for one they're gonna free multiple different villains who more likely gonna want to get revenge on all might if i put him in there so i'm sure that this give us a chance for staying to 
take the action to either protect All Might because he wouldn't let any other villain defeat All Might unless it's him and maybe this will give us a scene where All Might might actually convince Stain to be to go along to the right path if you know what I mean because Stain is only became a villain because of his ideals that he believe are should be done based on All Might. So this gives us the opportunity where All Might might actually help Stain towards a better path or who knows. There's a lot of great opportunities I could see happening right there. Yeah, that's true. Who knows? All Might may be able to convince Stain to actually fight on the side of God. Or maybe Stain would just like naturally just hate the villains and fight. I see him fighting regardless. Whether he's good or neutral really because he's not really I, I wouldn't say he's I wouldn't say he's his ideals lead leads him down the path that he's actually down and he views himself as being like right every villain sees himself as a good person every good person sees himself as a good person so it's like everybody's seeing themselves as a good person nobody sees like the morally crooked road that they're actually really walking on when you're looking through your own glasses, you see no word in a rose colored way, no matter who you are, whether you're a villain or you are a hero, really. Only sometimes persons who choose to not look through their own eyes, but the eyes of others, the, other, the eyes of others who are suffering and try to really lift up their hands to save others. Not for money, not for fame, not for power, not for idealism, nothing like that. But really just to help someone when your body moves without it having to without you having you even thinking about it that's that's the mark of a true hero when you actually your first instinct is to help someone you know no matter who you are no matter where you come from you're not really doing your best when it comes to help someone else like i mean jesus even came when he actually came down here his goal was to help others he was not and he came down in the form of flesh to help others like in the stories that we see all night his first instinct when he ever sees anyone in danger is to help someone just like Deku right Stain doesn't have that motivation to help others like moving to help others just like that he's moving because of his ideals just his ideals and that's where he gets wrong right there because his ideals are leading him down a path without feelings and it's that's that's where it becomes wrong because he's looking at the villains and saying that they're corrupted yes and he's looking at the heroes and saying they're corrupted as well looking at the evil that they're doing and not looking at the evil that he is really doing you know? That's where he gets corrupted. If he would actually move to protect someone else other than just have his own ideas. Though they are right, his ideas are right because the heroes are corrupted, most of them. That's not the point that he should be looking on mostly. He should be moving to help others. Right? Looking, don't look on someone else's flaws and forget about the flaws in your own eyes. You know, don't look at the beam in someone, don't look at the spin in someone else's eye and look and forget the beam in your eyes. So that's what I think about staying in the prison break card and why he's evil and like, considered to be evil, you know. Yeah, even though he's not corrupt, he's still evil. Corruption and evil is different, or maybe they're one and the same. But I mean, they lead to the same path, so what's the difference really? Right. Because, believe it or not, it's like one of those things where each villain sees himself in the right. So, in a point, Stain, I think Stain is definitely an interesting character. It's, not, it's a fan favorite, and I'm sure being a fan fa favorite, we're going to see a lot of, lot of great things from Stain. Whether it's towards part of good or bad, we're going to see a lot more of Stain, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, we should we shouldn't forget that overall is also there. Like overall wouldn't really want to work with the villains, but he doesn't have his arm. He doesn't have his arm to use his for maybe he could evolve in such a way where it, maybe they could, can you imagine if they could take overall spark factor because his spark factor is still on his body just so he can't use his spark because he doesn't have his arms. Right. 
you know, knowing that Lemuel ends up with his power but any or that. Imagine if they did that first down there that could react to maybe they could find a way to take this point factor uh, that's overall and give it um, to someone else like probably Shigarak that would be devastating but I mean it doesn't really matter because if Shigaraki has that I think that um, it's like probably the same if he can decay you with one touch it's not much different from destroying you with one touch anyhow it's like the same really right I think you're right so I think in that regards I don't think Alpha One would try to take overall's power in that end but it's we, we don't know because personally I think Alpha One has some a great plan f that he wants that he, he has planned and it's gonna happen so we, we who knows um maybe we won't use overall in that regards but there might be a lot of opportunity to use him in different regards yeah, I think so too. Maybe they'll try to figure out how we actually need the court destroying birds. Like he understands it inside and out. So maybe they'll use him in that way to find out those things, you know? Right. And and I know it's not beneath them. They can always take his powers and use it. Maybe not for curiosity like that, but maybe towards an, another person that could use it to actually make chaos more of a, of a distraction for the escape or even for something greater that they have plans planned in the future who knows but there's a lot of opportunity that they can use that for so i know mm -hmm. i know we talk about many of the prisoners but i know we talk about stain overall and alpha one but i think we forgot about muscular what do you think about him because he's still in still there even though i'm sure he is not he's not re really a fan favorite but he is there i'm sure they're gonna see us we're gonna see us something from him what do you think yeah i think muscular is really a great villain i think right now deku could um beat him since he could use so much more bonds for his power Right. Like, um, yeah, Deku could really beat him easier right now with using so much more of one cross. Or Deku needs to develop a whole lot more. Deku needs to really develop a whole lot more in order to do what he needs to do. But I mean, Deku could beat Muscular. I mean, but other heroes now fighting Muscular, that would be a different kind. Muscular would certainly be like a B class hero or an A minus class hero in the, you know, in the war. Like, if he's actually there, it could add something else to the equation and if they should really have a prison break like i mean how are you going to be in? maybe right. new years need to be introduced from america or something i guess those are different topics for different podcasts right i agree but we, we did have a great discussion <laughs> yeah yeah we did have a great discussion so thank you guys for tuning in remember to like subscribe leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the video Thank you so much again for everything. Thank you, Kino, for joining us. Um, check out Kino. He should be on YouTube very soon. Doing, he hasn't really decided on what he's going to do yet. But I mean, uh, he should start. He can start a YouTube channel. It doesn't take uh, takes a few clicks to start and a few more clicks to put out a good video. Right? So think about it. Um, Kino, you have any last words for the viewers? I think we've discussed enough, but as you guys probably know, if you like the discussion and the content that we're, we discussed today, feel, feel free to subscribe, like, and all that stuff. And thanks for listening. Alright guys, thanks again. This is Lamillion Nation, signing out.